So I'm joined by Nicholas Trad from what is known as the Reputation Institute, which measures uh, just how countries are viewed as a brand. It doesn't look very nice. It certainly doesn't smell very nice. How is it being viewed abroad, though? Well, it, does, it definitely doesn't look look very nice. I mean, obviously, in, in general, countries work on, on minimizing their, their reputation risks. And in doing that, massive strikes due to reform is obviously something a country would rather avoid. Uh, so, so that's how it's being seen from the outside. It's really being seen as, as, as if France is, 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 is losing control, perhaps, on, on the short term. Okay, uh, that we can see, uh, perhaps, from the, the sort of narrative that we're hearing uh, on the television and reading in the newspapers. But let's get down to the nitty-gritty here. Uh, and I'm talking about money. Um, does it really, what we're seeing on the television screens around the world, will, they, will this really affect, for example, foreign direct investment in the country? Well, I, 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 I do believe it, it, it will. I mean, obviously, what, what we see from the Reputation Institute is that there's a direct link between perceptions from the different audiences with whom a country interacts and then whether or not they will, will support that particular country. That goes either whether it's tourism or whether it's foreign direct investment. And we all know that uh, we, we all want to visit countries uh, with, with happy people. Uh, mm. If we feel that people in a country aren't happy, well, then then we'll probably visit another country when, when we choose our destination for vacation. Seeing masses on, on the streets uh, of, of Paris fighting reforms doesn't give one the idea that France is, is full of happy people. Mm. And that makes, you, that makes you insecure. Will the airports be open when I arrive in Paris? Will the streets be barricaded, uh, etc.? Uh, is, to... let, me, let me stop you there. It's a story, of course, uh, which will resonate with the Greeks who, who suffered uh, with their tourism over the summer post uh, the crisis there. And, you know, I think way back when, the, the, the winter of discontent here in the UK back in 1976, certainly uh, those who were rioting on the streets and the pictures people saw around the world didn't do us any favours here in the UK. I guess that begs the next question, which is simply this. What can Sarkozy do next? to prevent the image of France getting any worse? Right. Well, I mean, it, it all began by the fact, I guess, that, 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 that he didn't mitigate the risk that the country was in before it really announced the fact that it was going to do what it, what it has. And so one of the first things that countries should do is obviously try to mitigate, mitigate uh, the risk that it's standing in, in front of. With regards to what, what Sarkozy should do next is really to, to go into dialogue and make it absolutely transparent why it is that he has chosen to do what, what he has, i.e. change or, or reform. There's a very specific reason why he's done that, and it doesn't necessarily seem as if the people on the streets of Paris understand exactly why he, he has done that. Some have, but some just haven't.